Hello. Um, recently, someone in ST Daily asked uh, a really great question that's fundamentally kind of a distinction question. And that is um, <clears throat> in relation to uh, the terms values, principles, mission, vision, um, in particular around, you know, creating an organization, etc. And asking questions like, what is uh, the distinction between principles and values? What is the distinction between principles and mission and vision? And what are some questions to, you know, brainstorm guiding principles? And um, because this was such a great question and such a sort of uh, perfect distinction question, um, I wanted to give you an example of how you might think through some of these issues and distinguish them better. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to map a little bit. And first, I just start with the, the basic distinctions that are being made that, that aren't super uh, clear in terms of how they're different. But what we want to know is kind of the question mark here is, you know, how are these things the same? How are they different? How are they related? And you can distinguish uh, things in lots of different ways. Uh, you know, uh, an apple is not a you know, baseball, but really uh, the, the process of distinction making becomes really critical when we start distinguishing between things that are extremely close together, not like apple and baseball, which are far apart. I guess they're both round, etc. But um, when we get to things that are like values, principles, mission, vision that seem really close to each other, but not quite the same. So how might we start to um, distinguish these things? So one thing I do is uh, I, I go to the dictionary. So you can look up the dictionary definition of values. Um, you can look up the definition of principle. You can also go to the etymology of the word. Um, that's, that's a great place to go. And what we see when we do that for values and principles is really values is about what we value, right? So this is pretty relative uh, in terms of it's, it's relative to the person that's doing the valuing. But it's simply the, the act of valuing creates values. And principles, believe it or not, has to do with foundations or uh, the thing that comes first. If you look at the etymology or origins, um, I like to think of them as kind of like pillars of the foundation cornerstones right so it's the stuff that we're gonna build on top of right now a lot of organizations talk about their principles they talk about their values and what vmcl vision mission capacity learning um, as a as a systems model for organization does is it actually kind of embeds these two things into these two things right into vision and mission in other words it it focuses you on just the essential things that you need uh in a sense the principles but it makes those things not only principle but valued and here's why because um a lot of organizations they they do their vision and they do their mission and those become almost like taglines that uh that they put on their website or on a wall in a frame or something like that. But then they don't literally value them because they don't literally follow them, right? They don't use them every single day. It's just a statement that's mostly done for marketing or for ritual compliance because we've always done it that way. Um, and then principles, the same goes for principles, which is we create these visions and missions, again, for marketing or, or uh, ritual compliance. And, um, and we don't make them the foundation of our work, the foundation of our organization. So the point is that these things really overlap in many ways. Principles is not the same as values because you can have principles of a system that you don't value, that, um, uh, that you don't perceive as being valuable, but they are the cornerstones of the um, of the of the system whether that be you know an organization or whatever um, so you can have principles that don't have value and um, you can have values that aren't principle meaning uh, you know the foundational kind of elements and what we want to do is actually have vision and mission be both valued and principled 
Um, and so they, they are both principles and they are both highly valued in the VMCL organization. And vision and mission, we can define that very easily, right? Which is, and we define that through more significantly through the litmus tests that allow us to measure them in very specific ways. So I'm not gonna go that deep. But vision is really what you see in the future that is the goal state of the organization, right? And it, the key word there is see, what you see in the future that becomes the goal state for the organization. And mission is what you do repeatedly to get to vision. Uh, and so you can see that um, these two things are very much related. And when you build an organization that, that differentiates vision this way, that doesn't just see vision and mission as taglines or marketing statements or ritual compliance because we've always done vision and missions, but when we build them the way that the litmus tests have us build them in VMCL, what you see is that these things are principles they are principles uh, and they are values. And so there's no need really to, um, you know, so we could say that the values are embedded in the vision and values are embedded in the mission and vice versa. The uh, um, values, uh, principles are embedded in the vision and principles are, um, gotta move that line there, embedded in the vision and, and the mission. So we can see that in this case, these things are embedded here and there and the values are embedded there and there. And so we, in a, in a weird sort of way, these concepts, although important in, in, in their conceptual uh, scope, are um, are redundant. Uh, they're they're uh, they're essentially redundant of vision and mission. And so, if we focus on creating a good vision and mission, it will be values based. It will be principled, um, or it will represent principles of the organization. Now, the vision is about how we see things uh, in the future in in relation to or in contrast to how they are today. Well, clearly there's a value and we're saying we don't like the way things are today and we do like the way we envision them in the future. And so there's tremendous values that go into not only that valuing of that future state rather than the present state, but also whatever that, um, whatever that future and present state is, right? If we, if we want a more just society, then we're valuing justice, for example. Um, if we want... Uh, you know, a, a cheaper product than we're valuing, you know, uh, you know, cheapness or, or better, better value, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, and same for the mission, the things that we focus on every single day become what we value. So it becomes one of, of sort of aspirational statements, aspirational statements, right? Um, versus behavior. Right, and and really behavior that that matches statements, which is the same as uh, integrity. Right, so these are not mission and vision are not simply aspirational statements. Right, they're not aspirational statements vision and mission are behaviors, organizational behaviors that match the statements that we make, right? So um, in other words, what we want to really do is, is cause our organization to focus on its principles and what it values by focusing on its vision, what it sees in the future and its mission uh, what it does repeatedly to get there. And then, of course, we add capacity, which is the ability uh, to do mission, 
right? So, and then we add learning, which is um, building mental models that reflect reality, which drives capacity. And so that's where we get our V, M, C, and L there. Um, so that's kind of uh, how I would start to distinguish these things and, and in particular how the notion of values and principles, a lot of folks think that uh, VMCL is sort of absent of values and principles. Nothing could be further from the truth. VMCL is very much built on values and principles, but they're embedded in the VMCL uh, structures. And that allows us to have integrity as an organization. Uh, and that's kind of important. Thanks. Hope that helps.